Well, we've been learning more about food shortages across the country during the COVID-19 pandemic, and now a local organization is stepping up to help with this issue. News 19's Candace Price found out how they're doing it using a World War II practice. Victory Gardens helped to address food shortages during the Second World War. Now these gardens are coming to La Crosse. There were uh, millions of these gardens that sprouted up in the UK and in the United States. And there was some attention given to what people like to eat. Onions, carrots, and kale are just some of the crops that went into the ground. This gives you a, a way to provide food security, not just during the pandemic, but forever more for the city. So there's uh, food security uh, beyond just this season. The team of volunteers helping to install this garden today helped to serve a unique community in La Crosse. And just yesterday, we got a call from a family who included a person with disabilities who needed money for food to get through the next week or two. Aptiv is a local nonprofit working to support and train people with disabilities. Aptiv, the people we serve and our employees are a part of the larger community. And if we can give back, if those individuals can stay healthy in the community, it's better for all of us. They hope the gardens will serve as more than just a way to feed the community. This has got to be a point of hope for many people that our community is still investing in itself and investing in the people who live here. In La Crosse, Candace Price, WXOW. Thanks, Candace. And there will be six Victory Garden locations in La Crosse. Mary Kesson says the Aptive Garden should provide around 1,500 pounds of food during the growing season. Well,